Hi everyone, welcome back to Course Step by Step. My name is Anil. In this part of Node.js, we will learn how we can make a search API with the MongoDB. So we will learn search API in a two way. One, search with a single field and search with the multiple field. So what does that mean? So let's understand that first. So let's say you want to apply a search only on one field, like you want to apply search on an only on name or only on brand or only on category. So that will be a single field search. So whenever you want to apply the search on multiple fields, so at the same time you want to search in uh, name, brand, category and price, that time we can say that this is a multi field search. So we will learn both of the way and uh, now let's start with the points. First of all, we will uh, create a get route method so that we can uh, just get the data from Postman to Node.js. After that, we will apply the search on single field, apply the search on multiple field then we will test our API and at the last we will uh, discuss some interview questions related to this video. So now let's jump on the code. So this, this code is basically belong to the last video. So if you want to watch that video link is given in the description box. This is basically a complete curd operation. So I am just going to delete uh, all these methods because we don't need them uh, in this video. Otherwise, uh, we can just keep them also, but uh, if we will just keep that code, uh, we have uh, more code and uh, it's really hard to understand when we have the lots of code. So I'm just deleting all the code. Now we have some stuff like we are uh, just uh, loading the express configuration for database uh, connection required for this is for the model and we are just uh, executing our express. So now let's just put here app.get method this is basically for get route so i am putting here a search keyword this is basically our route uh, we can just put it like this and uh, we will get some data from uh, param so what i'm just going to put here colon key right after that you know that uh, second parameter will be a function so we are just putting here request and response and for a moment, I am just putting here response dot send and we can just say that search done for a dummy purpose so that we can check that everything is working fine or not. Now let's go to the postman. Select here get method, put the path of our API, which will be localhost 5000, then search and any name of the key. Let's say I want to search the Samsung. Uh, it will not give any giving any result because we have to start the server for node.js so let me start with the node moon and now it will give the result search done so with that way we can just find that our search API is working fine so now let's see how we can get this Samsung uh, params inside our uh, you can say that uh, get method so let's just simply put here console dot log request dot params dot key and now you will find that on a console we will just get the name whatever we are passing on the param uh, you know url samsung way here you can see that if i'm just putting here max then you can see that this is also working fine so now what do we need here we need this product model so that we can just connect with the database so let's simply put here let data equal to find uh, sorry, product dot find and we have to just put here await because it will return a promise and where we can use the await keyword inside a async function all right, so now you can just uh, send this data as a response to API. And you will find that everything is working fine. We will just get the complete data. So now how we can filter this data on behalf of this uh, URL keyword. So for that, what we can do here, we can simply use a regex. And for that, we need a basically object. And let's simply put here dollar or that means we will we can use it as a multiple fields also and uh, then let's take a array 
and here uh, let's give your field name so let's say my field name is name then uh, it will be basically rzx so we can just simply put here dollar rzx and our data that okay i just have to use here dollar not m percent rzx and uh, the data so we are getting data inside request dot params dot key and now let's try to run it is it working or not whenever i'm hitting it it will give only one result because max we have only one so if i'm just searching here with the m you will find that we got the two result one for the max because inside max we have a m keyword and the second one is the m pro right and let's say i am searching something else so let's say i am searching here u10 so that time we will get only u10 only one uh, result so if i'm just simply putting here u still it will give only one result because we have the u only inside a one field you can see check check here if i am putting here o it gives the three results uh, because inside pro we have o keyword in the and two we have uh, two results we have no have four node so all these three names have the o keyword that's why it will just give the three result so how we can just apply this uh, search on a multiple file there is a simple funda you can just say that just copy from here and apply one more field and i'm putting here let's say brand and now it will search in a two file two you can see that field so if i'm just searching here m you will find that we have all of result why because uh, uh, not actually all of but most of result we have because either o is present inside name or either this is present inside the uh, brand so if i am just putting here sam you will find only we have only one result because we have a brand here uh, samsung and this is actually matching with the brand if i am putting here m then we have a three result one for the max second one for the m pro and third one we have in but in a brand we have micro max so it's actually matching the m with the brand so with that way we can apply the search with the multiple fields so thank you so much for watching this video and please don't forget to subscribe my channel